Hey guys, it is Rachel Feldman. So here we are today and I just wanted to create a quick video for you about creating campaigns because we always hear about autoresponders. But the one thing about autoresponders and MailChimp is that you do have to pay. And the one thing about creating a campaign is that you don't have to pay and you can still do a series and set them up. So one thing that you have to do is you have to have a list. Um, and I always have a list just created for me, as you see, to be able to do these kind of tutorials. So what we're going to do is we're going to have that list as me. And then we're going to hit next. And the purpose of showing you this campaign is also because we want to show you how you can set them for further campaigns. So we're going to call this test winter health coach and this is going to be called um, welcome to your detox so it's going to be from me here's my email um, then we can go into more options so you can go into social media, we're not going to do that. You can go into tracking, you're not going to do that. Um, and we want to just make sure that we have everything set. So when we go then to um, design, we want to go into design and I'm going to actually just go into one of my um, pre-designed just for the purpose of using this um, and then I'm going to of course copy and paste my initial um, text that I have for my welcome letter one and then I'm going to hit next and then make sure that everything looks great um, then I am going to hit schedule and what you can do right here is you can schedule your time so you can say whether you want it to go out now the difference between an autoresponder is it means that it won't be um, set the minute that you put somebody's name into a list it won't set into a series into a sequence but you can just set them to be your campaigns to go out each day per this list. And it's really essentially the same exact thing. Um, so we want to set this, we would set it to go out, um, you know, either the day before your detox or the day of your detox, whenever you want to send out your initial email, or say you want to start your beginning 17 day sequence on the day that they start. So let's just say theoretically, we're starting on January 5th. So I want to set this. I do want to tell you that I like to do 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, so then I'm going to schedule this for 5 o'clock in the morning. So then I'm going to go back to my scheduled email. And I am going to replicate my test winter health coach. And I'm going to go back down to my list. And I'm going to send to the entire list. I'm then going to go to setup and I'm going to copy and paste whatever it is. And this would be day one of your detox. And the other one may have been just, as I said, your welcome letter, or maybe that was day one. Um, but I just want to show you for this purposes. We then go to design. You're going to copy and paste the information. If you want to change the picture right here, again, note the width, 600 by 210. Um, that is the picture that works. That is the picture size that works for um, MailChimp. You're then going to hit confirm, hit next. Um, we're going to then hit schedule. It's going to take me and I'm going to then go to January 6th um, and I'm going to do 5 o'clock a.m. 
So that means on January 6th, they are going to get the same email. I'm going to hit schedule campaign. All of a sudden it's going to be scheduled. Rock on. I've just done this. I'm going to delete these for just the purposes of hitting delete. And just to show you if you ever want to do that, you just hit delete. Um, but again, what is essential is you must create a list because whether you have an autoresponder or whether you have a campaign, they are only going to know where to go to if you have that list created. So again, thank you very much. I hope this was extremely helpful and I look forward to having an unbelievable season and I'm sure you will too. All right, talk to you soon.